both read and play electric guitar? No, I play drums. Whoa. Oh, show shit. Him. Look at this. Damn. A white guy trying to take a job from a Mexican. No. I'm Mexican, too. <laughs> no, I'm Mexican. Whoa. Mexican drum off. Mexican drum off. Mexican drum off. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> There it is. Are you ready for a Mexican drum off, it. Brian? Get back there. We have been known to have uh, very fun segments happen spontaneously on the show. Live audience, to close out tonight's show, are you ready for the first ever Kill Tony Mexican drum off? Yeah! All right, now here's the deal. Joel Jimenez has home field advantage, right? So Joel he, Jimenez. Joel has the right to rebuttal. So he goes first, and then Joel will Absolutely. Have his so going first, here in the battle, the Mexican drum off. Chris McCoy, everybody. Here he goes. Oh, dear. They didn't even shake hands. I didn't expect this at all. <laughs> I was almost out of here, and then this shit happens. <laughs> Mother. Isn't that the worst? Isn't it your American duty to leave before the Mexicans start drumming? I mean, All right, this is one of the rare shows in America where you can tell a joke about fucking a baby and then they invite you to a drum off. <laughs> it's so rare today. It's so rare today. Everyone's <laughs> so sensitive. Yeah. I hope there's no blood in the drum stool. <laughs> All right, Chris, you want to hit this shit? You want to just take over? Do something yeah. crazy? What do you want to do? One, two, three, four! Chris McCoy with his half of the drum off. I'm scared for whatever the fuck's about to happen because Joel Jimenez was just <laughs> taking off close. Alright, that wasn't my best. <laughs> Joel Jimenez! Good kill, Tony Drummer! <laughs> Wow! Yeah. Chris McCoy, you can kiss your fat ass goodbye. I think the kid did pretty yeah. good Chris. considering that Get he went Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> yeah. Bill hey. down wall! Bill down wall! Bill down wall! Bill oh, down wall! Bill down wall! Any like, special... Is there anything else that you do? Like any special skills or anything like that? Poker? You play drums? Yeah. Really? Uh oh, can, can we've play? got a challenger. Oh, Wait we've been second. here before. It's happened once before. Uh, should we have the great Mexican drum off? Uh. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Jeremiah, help me with this a little bit, right? Yes, we have. How does it work again? To do it. Basically, the challenger goes first on the drum kit, then Joel gets to do a rebuttal, and then we see who's better, and one of them dies. Charlie, do you, you think you, you down for this? You ready to challenge Joel and the great Mexican drum off? Uh, I don't know if it's going to be. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Winfrey! Yeah. That's right. <laughs> getting my uniform ready. <laughs> Here you go, going first. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Charlie Winfrey little drum solo for you.
I mean, is, uh, do, do you have like a wrap it up thing? Wait, wait, there he is, Joel Jimenez! Hey, uh, who's the autistic kid on stage? All right, cool. Uh, yet another person challenging his throne. We Put need your hands I don't want to murder. All right. For the rebuttal from the great. You know him, you love him. It's Joel Jimenez, ladies and gentlemen. out with a black tube sock for around his dick for some reason he only does the, the Mexican drum off with a tube sock on his dick powerful Joel Jimenez one more time so pain I'm out of this bucket but one thing's for sure we made a guarantee at the top of this show and here on Kill Tony we hold true to our word make some noise if you'd be interested in seeing a triple Mexican drum off Every once in a while on this show, Joel Jimenez, Joel Berg himself, let somebody take the throne and challenge him. We're going to do Pauly Shore s drum solo, and then a Luis J. Gomez drum solo, and then Joel Jimenez is going to come out and do his own solo. L ladies and gentlemen, the great Pauly Shore! All right. All right. Louis J. Gomez, your turn. Polly Shore, ladies Shore. and gentlemen, make some fucking noise. It's the laziest fucking Monday crowd. You guys were no help tonight, you know that? Louis J. Wow. So and ladies and gentlemen, here to defend his throne, the one, the only. Joelberg, Joel Jimenez! Holly <laughs> <laughs> wins! You know what it is? I shaved my pubes today, and I think <laughs> at Dollar Shave Club. It's like you yeah, Dollar really Shave. Did. Yeah. No. So talents? Any hobbies or anything weird you're into? Uh, I play drums. Whoa! Oh, here we go. Wait a second. Are we about to have a Mexican drum off? Or do you have any Mexican in your blood at all? Uh, no, I don't. You sure? Uh, Maybe bad. I've lived with them for a bit now. It's too bad. <laughs> really wish you were Mexican so we could do this. <laughs> Moving on, Tony. Have you ever hung out with a Mexican or anything like that? I, I have. Wow, would you like to have a Mexican drum off? <laughs> you, do you guys like that? I'm not. One of our favorite traditions. All right, well, uh, Eric, this is the part where Joel hands over the sticks, oh, and you, you want to talk shit shot. about playing the drums? I you want to drop any the shit about it. No, the, that, when I asked you any special skills or hobbies, your first answer was drums, so. There you go. Get over there, Eric. Don't be shy. You want to do a shot with Ron White? Now you have to play the fucking drums. <laughs> Joel drinking tequila, or as he calls it, breathing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here he goes with his drum solo. Challenging the throne of Joelberg. Joel will respond after this. Put your hands together for Eric Friedman.
okay. Norm, <laughs> that was a good beat. Sounded that was like a good rhythm. I guess, I guess I could probably challenge for the Mexican drama. Yeah. That was very guitar just, center. I, don't yeah. I mean, I pretty much do that for five minutes when we do sound check every Monday. Uh, so with his retort, the defending reigning champion of percussion of Kill Tony, Joel Berg, ladies and gentlemen, Joel Jimenez. Damn, he's flipping it around. Oh, I hit him in the dick. And now he's eating the symbol. Now he's deep oh, throating the symbol. Oh, oh, it's coming in his mouth. Out. Wow. Wow, he's very dark. Sorry, sure, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. There he goes, Eric Friedman. You lost the Mexican drum up, but you got a shot. The gold records in the Uber, like in the window. Yeah. So like they're like, oh, this guy. Was Check in. me out. Hey, uh, you know you're supposed to play with your drumsticks, not eat them, right? <laughs> Jeez, oh. Drummer on drummer Damn. Says the guy dressed like a princess. Ooh. Whoa. Drum off, drum off, I think I know what that off, means. Drum off, drum off, drum off. We've done it a few times. Schulberg is undefeated, and this is the Mexican drum off. Drumming first. Joel, get out of here. Drumming, you got to do it, Jerome. I'm sorry, you got to give us a little drum I solo did. if you want to jump back there. Now, let me remind you, this might be your first time seeing it. Let me update uh, the cast here, uh, Danish and O'Neill. Guys, we've had a few of these before. Basically, anytime anybody has ever, uh, has ever said that they know how to play drums, Joel goes off, takes off his clothes, and uh, they play a song. It's never really the, as amazing as anybody thought it was going to be. And Joel comes out, does a drum solo, and fucking crushes. Now, what's exciting about this one, if you can't tell, what's exciting about this one, if you can't tell, is it appears to me by all, uh, what the fuck, where'd his name go? Son of a the bitch. Shark. Did you take it? Noah the Shark, shark Robertson. Sharknado. Here it is. It appears that this might be the first guy that can actually beat Joel Berg. So... I don't know how much more naked Joelberg can get back there, but hopefully he works a miracle here tonight. Oh, Jesus. Get back there. Wait a second. Oh, he's going to judge you. He's going to judge you like a fucking Mexican gargoyle. Wow. All right. Well, hopefully Noah doesn't knock your socks off, if you know what I mean. Hopefully Joel's dick doesn't oh, smell. He looks like a chupacabra. All right, it's, shall we do it? Are you the, ready, Noah? It's the weirdest cancer ward I've ever been in. <laughs> so what am I? What am I doing? Uh, you're just going to uh, do a drum so. <laughs> Come on, shark! Don't you're play go, hard you're to gonna get. fucking do it. It's basically like a. Uh, we'll give you like a 30 to 40 second fucking super showcase. Bang the shit out of it. Show us something crazy. Maybe 20 seconds if you're feeling that. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Noah Shark Robertson, it's a Mexican drum up! Oh, wow! All right, Noah, you gotta hand him over. Here he is, only wearing a tube sock. It's Joburg. <laughs> Almost too close to call. Oh, wow. That God, is, that uh, made me horny. Man, hopefully uh, Adelaide Bird isn't judging this one tonight. If uh, Joel beats him, is Joel now world-renowned? And he's the shark. He takes the name. Mexican drum-off champion. Uh, I don't know. You know, it's, it was close to me, but I think I might... What, what do you guys think? We give it to Joel Berg on this one? We give it to Noah Shark Robertson? Whoa! Whoa! You, you, wait, Joel's asking if he wants to go again. Joel's basically doing a double or nothing. What do you guys think? One more quick round? All right, here he goes. Round two. Ring that bell. It's Noah Shark Robertson, everybody. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Joel automatically gets it. 
I think we're about to watch Trollberg steal this fucking thing. Wait, time out. Joel, some advice. You got to rock off with your sock off. <laughs> Well, I was told by a lawyer that the sock has to stay on. <laughs> okay, that's they, good. They serve food here. <laughs> Always agree with lawyers. Does that mean you, that someone might eat it? <laughs> well, just in an establishment that serves food, you got to keep the sock on at least. I'm pretty sure you have to keep your shoes and socks on too, Joel. Wait, is Jerome still here? Is that true? He's a guy who's seen a lot of nudity. In, uh, <laughs> There's nothing more rock and roll than explaining legality before you enter a competition. <laughs> here he is with his rebuttal. It's Joelberg. <laughs> That is how you defend a fucking throne, ladies and gentlemen. Joelberg, everybody. No, not really. I'm in a band. Really? What do you it. do in the band? Oh, I play drums. Get the fuck out of here. Well, I got some bad news for you, Jeff. There's a segment on this show that by rule we must follow. As long as your wrists are healthy, you're not a fucking pussy like Henry. Uh, there is a, uh, a segment on this show. <laughs> Joel, if you want to go hide, you want to hide somewhere behind the curtain or something? I mean, are we doing this? Yeah, dude, we're doing it, dude. Hold on one second. Let me introduce it properly. Uh, every time we find out somebody plays drums on this show, we do a thing called the Mexican Drum Off, where we let them play a drum solo, and then, hold on one second. We let them, <laughs> if, if the music's louder than me, okay, perfect. Where they do a drum solo, Joelberg hides away, and then uh, Joelberg comes back and defends his throne by playing his own drum solo. By rule, if his drum solo is better than Joel's, he's the new drummer of Kill Tony and is coming back to Los Angeles with us. But let me warn you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me warn you. Dude, I'm worried for Joel <laughs> no, for the first time, dude. <laughs> Hold on, let me warn you, if you haven't seen this before, it is extremely hard to beat Joelberg at this game. So now, with no further ado, I present to you, live from Cleveland, Ohio, the home of birthplace of rock and roll, it is the Mexican drama with Jeff Gurdon! Wow! That was, that was awesome. That was good. And now, defending his throne is Joelberg. <laughs> Cleveland Cox, you know? Yeah! Holy shit! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, meet the new drummer of Kill Tony. <laughs> wow! It's the maddest Joel has ever gotten at me. He's like, Whoa. Gerardo. Well, I play guitar. I play. Uh, Bass. I play. Uh, oh God! Piano. Get on with it. Drums. You do play drums. Not as well, I think, but I, as the Joelberg himself. But yeah, I do play drums. Can you, would you be willing to give us a little sample yeah. of uh, of drumming? I'll try. It. We do this thing on this show called a Mexican drum off. Joelberg is uh, Joelberg is undefeated. Here he is trying to steal uh, Joelberg's I, spot on the show. A, a drum solo from Gerardo. Uh, yes, Joelberg? I was going to say, I ain't getting naked for this one. <laughs> yes. No okay, go naked. ahead, Gerardo. Give us a sample. Wow. All right. Defending That's his throne. Good. 
Defending his throne, all-time undefeated. Uh, let's see if Joelberg can top that. Joelberg? Joelberg. Joelberg with a drum solo. Uh, that's it. That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. uh, Patrick, do you I have play any drums, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick C. Huerta plays drums, and I don't know if you guys know this, but we have a little tradition on this show. When somebody says they can play drums, there is a Mexican drum off. Let me explain. Just hold on a second. Uh, hold on one second, Pat. He said he thought he thought I had more to work with. That's what his wife says. Uh, whoa! Geez. Wait, 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 Patrick. Just wait a second. Hold on. Let me explain the rules so that you understand completely. Uh, um, it, you play a drum solo, right? And if you, uh, if you, um, if you are able to summon, you go first, and then Joel will go. If somehow you are able to beat Joel, who, even though it's not necessarily factually true for the storyline of it, we say he's all-time undefeated as the uh, drummer on this show. But if somehow you beat him, I just to let you know, you become the new drummer of the band. And you will go back. So if you, if you beat... If you beat him, you're going back to L.A. with us, so good thing you don't have kids. And if you beat him, Joel is now selling uh, in insurance fucking insulin tubes. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. So here we go. This is to close the show, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is on the line. Uh, you want to hit some uh, Mexican drum off music? All right, this is it. Going first on the, wait, 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 <laughs> you son of a bitch. Going first on the Mexican drum off, here he is, Patrick C. Huerta. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty there's, good. There's no toms over here. I was all excited to do some tom work. Oh. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> and here to defend <laughs> Oh, and here to defend his throne, I present to you the one and only Joelberg, Joel Jimenez. Yeah, what other instruments do you know how to play? I do know how to play drums. You know how to play drums? Well, 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 I guess that only means one thing. That right now, Jesse Lindley will be taking part of a Mexican drum off. Here, have a seat, have a seat, Joelberg. <laughs> here, sit right here, sit right here. Uh, now, uh, <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys know exactly how this works, but it's true. Uh, the, it, Jesse's going to do a drum solo, and then uh, after that, Joel is going to do a drum solo. Uh, Joel is all-time undefeated in Mexican drum-offs. <laughs> however, 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 however... His belt is on the line, and I will say this. If Jesse happens to win this, he's coming back with us to Los Angeles to be the newest drummer on Kill Tony.
And if that happens, Joel is staying here in Houston, Texas. All right, now let's hear what you got. Now hold on, wait, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> you son of a... All right, everybody, here we go. <laughs> Jesus, Red Band. Hey, thanks a lot for making his double a triple before the show, you asshole bartenders. Uh, so, Jesse, are you ready for this challenge? Ladies and gentlemen, drumming first. Put your hands together for Jesse Lindley. That's it? That's it? That's your closing argument? Okay, okay, okay. There he, there he is, Jesse Lindley. Now his opponent, the reigning defending champion, Joel Berg! I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Joelberg wants do you do other than working here? Uh I'm a drummer. Yeah. Really? Is that true? Yeah. Wow. Well well <laughs> Jesus, you guys really know how to build it up. Yeah guys. Like, uh, <laughs> I was just gonna Joel say Joel stands up, red pan hits the music. Okay. Uh, <laughs> We have another winner. I was just going to say something about the way this guy looks. I probably already lost. <laughs> well, I'm really excited to see this. You are aware what a Mexican drum off is on this show? No. Yeah, well, let me explain it to you. You do a drum solo, and then Joel does a drum solo, okay. and the best drum solo wins. Now, Joel is, uh, according to the show's storyline, all time in the history of the show, undefeated. However, so, however. All right. However, let me tell you this, if for some reason you happen to beat him here today, you are flying back with us to Los Angeles, California. You're going to have your own apartment and you're going to be the new drummer on Kill Tony every Monday at the Comedy Store at 8 p.m. if you can beat him in a drum solo off. But I must warn you, it's almost impossible to beat him. He's adored by the crowd. And if you beat him, by the way, we're leaving Joel here. In, uh, <laughs> so, uh, Jordan, uh, Jordan, do you prefer uh, aisle or window seat? <laughs> okay. Window. Anyway, uh, why don't you uh, <laughs> why don't you get behind the curtain? Uh, yeah, that way where the curtain starts. Eighties comedian. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the guy really knows his way around this stage. <laughs> Jesus, why are you so far out? Lean against the wall, Joel. <laughs> okay, you guys ready for a Mexican drama? Hold on. All right. D drumming first, ladies and gentlemen, with his own drum solo. You could do it any way you want, sort of like 20, 30-ish seconds, you know what I mean? Build it up and let it rip. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. You from uh, Fort Worth, Texas? Where are you from? From New Orleans, Louisiana, make some noise for the Mexican drum off competition with Jordan Mack, everybody. Here we go. All right, Jordan Mack, and now introducing his opponent, the reigning, defending drummer of the Kill Tony Band, it's Joel Virgil. <laughs> wow. Here he goes.
Wow! Joel, 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 stand up there and take a bow. Come on. Why'd you do that? <laughs> I didn't realize he was going to do it. Four months. Oh, wow, you're brand new. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, just, yeah. So getting into it. So what do we do for fun? What is a guy like you into? Like, I, uh, I drum. Yeah. Wait, uh, what? I do. Well, I don't know if... I don't know if this is humanly possible. Oh, shit. I don't know. I don't know if this is humanly possible for a uh, Joel. 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 It hasn't started yet. My God. Jesus Christ. Shalom. Accepted. God, sometimes. Uh, I don't know if it's possible for the whitest white guy we've ever had. A Joel. What, do you not remember how this goes? It's like for <laughs> Joe, you wait 30 <laughs> seconds, then you do that. <laughs> Let him make the announcement and then build up. No, he has to drum first. I love it. Okay, so uh, I think submit. we've just outsourced the drumming to a white guy. Finally. I don't know. I don't know I, uh, if you know this. This is an exciting thing on this show, Russell. But when we find out somebody knows how to drum, we offer them a, a chance at a position of a lifetime. Not only do they go from only having 60 seconds in an interview on this show, but at the end of this, he could possibly be the new drummer for Kill Tony. I'm ready. Which means ready. not only is he on the show every week, but if he wins tonight, he will be going to Dublin, London, and Manchester with us. The only problem is, is Joel has never lost this competition. It takes a lot of charisma to win. Uh, best of luck, Mitch. This is a Mexican drum off. Here he goes. He's yeah. going in for his drum solo. Joel is nowhere to be found at this Joel's point. Right there. He's He's right there. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, for his first ever drum solo live here at the Comedy Store with the Mexican drum off, competing for a full time position here on Kill Tony. I, I would I would strongly suggest that Mitch represents the the uh, proverbial wall. Yes, um. <laughs> this is true. Here he goes with a with a powerful drum solo, ladies and gentlemen, Mitch Brown. Uh-oh. <laughs> we are in big trouble. Zoinks. The budget oh, does not allow for two drummers to go to Europe. Do I buy my ticket Hold now? On. Wait, wait. Whiteberg. Whiteberg. <laughs> Hold on. Whiteberg. The place is in chaos. Mitch, you just did a thousand times better than anybody thought you were going to do up here. Uh... By the way, uh, good news, you're no longer a comedian, you're a drummer, full time. Uh, but <laughs> here to defend the throne, but uh, you're not a professional drummer on this show Mitch yet. Mitch went from saltine to Ritz, real <laughs> fast. Here to defend his throne, he's undefeated on this show, all times in Mexican drum ops. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the one and only Joel Berg. In all fairness, it's still close in my eyes. That I, was the I closest you, ever. Think, oh, I'm sorry. You gotta change my diaper now, bitch. <laughs> oh shit. And fucking, am I right about this? Yeah. Yeah. What do you do for fun? Uh, I play guitar. I play drums. Uh, I play oh wait, wait, wait a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second here. Kyle, how long you been playing drums for? I want to make sure this isn't like a publicity like stunt and you just go over there and fucking slow roll it. Like you also have grade. to be funny. <laughs> oh, no you don't. No you don't. Sometimes a good drummer can be complete redemption. Yeah, Joel's just getting nervous. Oh. Kyle, uh, how long you been playing drums for? It's like first, second grade. 
Whoa, oh, since second grade. Joel man. wasn't even alive then. Yeah, Joel didn't even go to grade school. This is incredible. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, you know, we are in Phoenix, and Joel's right. Your set wasn't the best, but it was your first time ever. So why don't we do a Mexican drum off, huh? What do you guys think? You go up. Uh, Okay, going, uh, <laughs> going out of the soul. <laughs> Gorgkoff has uh, taken a stand uh, right next to me in between the drum set. Go ahead, go ahead, sit over there. And uh, Kyle, and the, he is flanked by Russians right now. Wait, wait, don't do it yet, Kyle. You gotta wait. Let me set it up. Wow, he's adjusting Joel's drums. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, let me remind you all, I know this is some of you. I know some of you are the girlfriends that came with your boyfriend that does, you, know, you might not know everything about the show. So here's how it works. Uh, this has been a running thing. Sometimes there is a Mexican drum off in which somebody has a drum solo and then Joel comes out and he does a drum solo and whoever wins is, uh, is, the, is the drummer in the band. Now, Joel is undefeated in this, but let it be known that if somehow Kyle, who after his first time ever on stage, after drinking the drink with two hands, like a douche and all that, <laughs> if somehow he is able to blow our minds and then Joel somehow, who he always finds a way, Joel had a tough one a few weeks oh, ago, yeah, we're and we thought, we yeah. thought he was <laughs> probably gonna lose his job. Because if Kyle wins, let it be known that if somehow Kyle is able to summon the devil himself and win this competition, Kyle be ha drops out of ASU, moves to Los Angeles, and is the new drummer for Kill Tony. <laughs> However, Joelberg is undefeated. Ladies and gentlemen, performing a drum solo. This is the highlight of his life. I give you Kyle Whalen. <laughs> Defending drummer of Kill Tony, Joel Burr. Joel Jimenez. Ovation for Joel, Joel Jimenez. <laughs> oh my god, he's having sex with his drum set. Wow. Oh. <laughs> he has one foot behind his head. His wig fell off. His tube sock fell off. Oh my god. Oh wow. That is fucking incredible. There's no doubt about it. Still, your reigning, defending, undefeated drummer of the Kill Tony band. Joelberg, Joel Jimenez. Wow. That was very impressive. At one point, Joel turned completely into a pile of hair. Uh, <laughs> man, that was impressive. See, what these losers don't get is it's about showmanship, not skill. It is true. I can't wait for the day that somebody says they can music. Last time I was here, me and him had a little drum off. Oh, really? You, yeah. pl you play drums. Were yeah. you, did you come close on the drum off? Oh, dude, I beat him, but everyone in the crowd's like, oh, for Joel. Is that me. true? Yeah. Is that true? This is the guy? First of all, Whoa. first of all. Wow. Wait, I, if I remember correctly, you're like half French or some shit, right? 
Oh, he's up here fucking acting like he's full Mexican. <laughs> Wait, he's part French. He said both of his parents his were me Mexican. No. Yeah, well, I'm like six percent French thanks to Ancestry.com. So oh. I just took that to the bank, homie. <laughs> Heck yeah. One of his great great grandpapas came from France down to Mexico. That's, That's true. Right. That's so you know we sort of uh, I can't believe you're the one. So you're the one that is. It's a very controversial thing. A lot of people on the. I mean, but it is you know a lot of people online. I hear it sometimes. <laughs> Joel once got beat, but the crowd went with Joel. But you got to remember, man. It's about showmanship. You want another shot at it? I would love one. So here's the deal, Joel. You go to the back. Like... Don't Joel. Don't come back until I bring you up. All right. There you go. So here's the deal. For those of you that don't know, maybe some of yours first show here. Uh, there's a thing on this show called the Mexican Drum Off. And at any point, if anyone's on stage who did a set who knows how to play drums, they get a chance to do a drum solo and potentially steal Joel's job from him. Now, if they beat him, they get to come back and be the new drummer for Kill Tony. And, uh, and then in, in which case, Joel would have to go and do fucking grip work on Kissing Cousins. So, but here's the deal. Here's the thing to remember. While the drums are important, it's also about showmanship. This is a comedy show. You know, maybe there's extra things to do that are big and fun. All right. Well, I mean, it hasn't started yet, Gerardo, so I, I, I really wouldn't do that yet. But uh, so I guess here we go. You're starting it off with his own uh, drum solo for an official Mexican drum off. Make some noise for Gerardo Alarcón. Oh, do it. That's it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Joelberg Joel Jimenez. <laughs> we just got kicked off of YouTube. I think the sock's a little bit crazy. <laughs> Fix the sock, Joel. Sorry, one of them is hanging out. My bad. He, he, he forgot to totally saw those nets. He forgot to put the balls in the cannoli. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Build that wall. This Build that wall. Build right that now. wall. Yo, wow. boss, try to come How out fucking of here. dare you? That was incredible. Wow, another tip from the lesbian. I love it. All right, uh, how many of you think uh, Gerardo Alarcón won that one? How many of you think Joelberg retains? Yeah, I don't know, man. This is like a this is like a triple G Canelo fight. I don't think there's any arguing this one. Oh, one in the sock and. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going on back there. Tiffany is tipping him. <laughs> Try to blog it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. No, it's good. It's good. <laughs> we had to. I'm sorry to those watching on YouTube. We had to cut to a. Uh, we had to cut to a kill Tony. I feel like I'm at Swinging Richards in Atlanta. I didn't even know we could do that. That was the most awesome wow. thing ever. That's what happens when you don't come correct, Tommy. <laughs> oh, those poor people on YouTube must be so furious right now. You better I check nuts, the first nuts, time in we've ever done that. I had to Don't give away my last hundred dollars for that. Ever been on Kill Tony? Is there any fun facts about you? Um, I used to play the drums, so... Oh! oh. What?
All right. Well, I mean, it's one of those things. Hey. All right. For those of you that don't know, maybe this is your first time seeing this show live, but a little fun fact about this show is anytime uh, someone comes on, do you know about this? I don't know. Oh. I've, walked <laughs> I've walked into something here. Better yet, my friend. Well, uh, Jim, what if would you say if I told you that there is a chance, there is a chance that you will no longer be working in advertising, but there is a chance that after tonight, there is a chance that you will be flying back to Los Angeles with us. You'll have to go to Manchester. You'll have to go to London, England, <laughs> and then all the way to L.A. because you are about to have a drum solo off. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah. Listen to me. Listen to me, Jim. And if you win, and it's all about performance, all right? It's all about, you know, fucking coming out and making the crowd go, go absolutely crazy. So, oh, uh, if you win, you're the new drummer of the Kill Tony band. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, I accept. I accept. It, it can happen so quickly. Chroma Chris got replaced tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, Jim, I must warn you. I must warn you that, uh, you know, showmanship and the comedic part and everything has a lot to do with this. And I must also warn you, Joel Berg is undefeated all time this is a mexican drama mexican yes mexican drama. okay shit ladies and gentlemen representing ireland hey he's sort of got the right idea is there anything else you want to take off before doing the uh... all right here he goes, doing a drum solo. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first ever time in Ireland, I give you an Irish Mexican drama. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Sheep. Noise defending his throne. It's Jober. Entire life. I'm a drama. (laughs) 
Wait, Tony. Get your ass behind those drums. We're going to have a Mexican drum up. It's fine. It's All right. Make some noise doing a drum solo. Make some motherfucking noise for Clovis, everybody. Yep. Everybody, oh fuck out of here! Now let me remind you. Let me remind you, and I might need your help on this one. Hold on, stay up here, Clovis. Stay up here. Let me remind you that if Clovis wins this, he's the new drummer in the Kill Tony band, <laughs> and he has to come back to LA with Thank us. Thank you. So please, Jolina, summon the devil. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, 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 feminist Macy, summon the devil, and please figure out a way to beat this guy. It's all about performance. It's about comedy. I present to you the undefeated champion of the Mexican drum off, Shomar Jimenez. the drums he deep throated drumsticks how many of you have Clovis winning oh I said <laughs> get out of here you old fuck you old posh fuck go iron your pants how many of you think Clovis won this thing how many of you have Joelberg winning this thing and still, the rating. <laughs> and to 18 playing drums, and I've been playing guitar and writing songs more, but I, I fuck, I, I have a great time on the drums. I don't know if I got the speed, but I have a good fucking time. You guys think we should have a Mexican drum off right now? All right. The people have spoken. Let's give it a shot. His father killed himself, he's a chef, he's multi-talented, the guy can freestyle rap, he can Little Orphan Annie, you know, he's got everything in between. Let's find out, uh, shall we, the drumming stylings. Now let me remind you, Dylan, you know this show pretty well, don't you? Yeah. Let me remind you that if you happen to have a better drum solo according to the audience, then Joelberg, then you will not be working in the kitchen this weekend because you will be the new drummer for the Kill Tony band. We will take you back to Los Angeles. We're gonna take you back to LA. An all expenses paid trip. You're gonna be staying in a hotel room with Jeremiah for the rest of uh, the weekend if you win. And uh, we're gonna have to teach Joel how to work in a kitchen, which I don't think that's gonna be that hard. Uh, and uh, here we go, giving it a shot for the throne. It's a Mexican drum up, and this is Dylan Dowdle. Wow, Dylan 
Dowdle. All right, step on back up here, because it is about that time that I reintroduce to you the reigning, defending, undefeated Mexican drum off champion, the one and only Jolbert Joel Jimenez. Yeah, look out, get that way. <laughs> wow, he's got so many of the force. <laughs> he's got Star Wars underwear on and oh a tube God. sock hanging out of the side. Wow. Joel, are you ready to do this shit? Fuck this guy, dude. <laughs> there he is, defending the throne, Jolbert. Wow. Yep. I don't know. This has definitely been a Mexican. First time. No shit. There you go. And what do you do? What is it that you do? I'm a drummer. Um, <laughs> oh, of shit. course. Joe Berg. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That would be weird if he won this. Hold on a second. Hold on. Everybody, hold on. Let's fact, just all relax. I uh, offered to... What else? What other other than drumming? What else? I, I just quit my job. I was working at a warehouse for about a year. Oh, so he's available. Look at this. Uh, hey, yeah, it's open. <laughs> Wait a second. Where'd your mustache go? <laughs> It would uh, probably be easier to do, like, international travel with uh, a white American. Is that, what, is, that what, is that what he is? What are you? What ethnicity are you? I'm Italian. Wow. All right. Yeah. You're Italian from Saudi Arabia, clearly. Uh, how long have you played the drums for? About 10 years. 10 years. Wow. Like you know, I think Joel, that's like half of Joel's life. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Joe Berg, how long have you been playing the drums for? Well, I started at 14. I'm 32 now, so almost half my life. Wow. That's such a weird answer to give. I started at 14. I'm, I'm also a high school dropout. I'm not good at math. I need this. 14. I started at 14. I'm about to be 32, so almost half my life. Uh, so wow, that's wait, that's <laughs> more than half your life. It's definitely I love that Lewis figured it out last out of everybody and literally said that's wait, that's more than half his life. <laughs> that's why it took time to repeat it, Lewis. <laughs> wait a second, Tony, I solved a crime. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh so Samuel, do you know that on this show that there's a thing called a Mexican drum off? If yes. it, do you think do you think you have what it takes? And let me remind you that this all has to do with performance. Like, you know, it, it's a... Oh, wait a second. All right. Is this why you signed up? You came here specifically to challenge me. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Let me just wow. say, I mean, this, this is what I'm saying. This is how huge I'm getting. These people, I changed their fucking lives. Wow. You fucking... You call, you call up your girlfriend, tell her to put on the red panties. You say, it's time. We're challenging Jolbert. He made us somebody. And then you figured that you would just glide through the 60 seconds. You could do anything. You'll do a big, long misdirect joke. And that no matter what, fuck it. You're just going to end up saying that you know how to play drums and you're going back to L.A. with us. Yeah. Wow. I'm a buoy. No, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Oh, my God. This Good luck not getting randomly selected. <laughs> this is an interesting. This is an interesting thing. But you know what, Samuel? How long have you been listening to Kill Tony? Uh, my brother introduced introduced it to me like uh, three or four months ago. Three or four months ago. I'm a very big fan. I and you've gone show. back and listened to a lot of episodes. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Yeah. Now, uh, when you say that you're a big fan, so then you know about the Mexican <laughs> drum off. And w yeah. w why is it tonight that you think you can beat Joelberg in his own? competition that he's never been beaten in before what makes you different um i've uh i've been uh, uh 
Whoa. Yeah. I think he's I think he, I think he's playing it down again. He's yeah, trying to no, pretend I, he's trying to make us think that he's not gonna like That's actually like like half the lines in Rocky that he just said right yeah. there. Uh, 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 Keith Robinson impression. <laughs> well Samuel, if you're a big fan of the show and you've seen Mexican drum offs, then you know that it's not just about the drums. It's about, you know, having the crowd on your side and uh and you know, making a big performance. So I mean, but I still want to see what uh, I still want to see what you're gonna do. Uh, Joel, you want to get behind one of these curtains or whatever, or, uh, uh, and uh, let's do it. You guys want to do a Mexican drum off here tonight? <laughs> For these live road shows, uh, maybe there's some people here that don't know, but I'll explain to you how it works. Is uh, if someone knows how to do the drums, then they can challenge Schulberg for his entire job. Uh, he's the drummer on this show every episode and uh, technically by the rules of it if the person wins uh, they get to be on the show and Joel has to stay in whatever city we're in uh, and That's take their right. job. It's actually really sad because we, we yeah. started to grow to like Joel but yeah. you know we get rid of people all the time like yeah. we got rid of Kim before you know we got rid of the Iron Patriot <laughs> You know, people we, move on. Yeah, but, but I but I think Joel's at the height of his game. You know, he always pulls this, something crazy up his has something crazy up his sleeve. This dude's ready to get paid in popcorn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is pretty exciting. Uh, so I guess this is a Mexican drum off, ladies and gentlemen. Drumming first. From where? Where are you from, West Nyack? Where are you from, Samuel? Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Jesus was born. Ladies and gentlemen, doing the Mexican drum off. Here he is, Samuel Rad, everybody. The crowd goes crazy. That was badass. Hold on. Wait. Samuel, move away from the drums. Come over here. Stand next to that stool. Stand right there. There you go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the reigning defending drummer of Kill Tony, the one and only Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. <laughs> here he is. Wow. He's got the wow. Master Jim <laughs> facial hair. Does the carpet match the drapes? I was going to have to buy does. a new beard for Jeremiah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly he borrowed Jeremiah's uh, wizard, wizard beard. beard. Yeah. Wow, more like the jizzard <laughs> it beard. It just looks like Jeremiah's blowing him. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like Jeremiah's nose. All right. All right, all right. So, uh, <laughs> wait, Joel, Joel. Uh, so Samuel uh, came out at it hard. You have to defend this. Joel, it's a very, very big one for you. You're sponsored by Ludwig. Uh, and it's about, you know, it's about commitment. It's about being funny. It's about putting on a great drumming performance. But it's also talent. You know, like, like uh, he was really good. I mean, he was really yeah. good. Yeah. So let's see what happens. You guys excited? Here he is defending to keep his job on Kill Tony. Joel Joel Jimenez. Joel Joel Jimenez. Look at that. That's a standing ovation right there all the way. That's incredible. God damn it. 